I had a question on modifying the start points on a design when you bring it into sheet cam and apply your cut operation. So here's how and why I would do that. I've got my design, I brought it in, and this is a particular design, one of many designs that I have trouble if I don't reorder the start points with tip-ups. So say like on this design, the issue I'll have is it would cut this R out. After it cuts that R out, the torch will immediately go to cut this shadow out. And if this R is tipped, it will, with my ohmic sensing, it will touch that R and maybe fire too high and cause a bad cut right here. So what I've started doing on designs like this is I'll reorder the cut sequence to prevent that. Now how you do that is I would come up here, select operation, apply my plasma cut. Now I've applied my plasma cut operation. And as you can see, sheet cam has gone through and ordered the cuts however it seemed fit, whatever it thought was the optimal way to do it. And on a lot of designs, I will just leave what sheet cams laid out and go with it. But in this situation, I want to reorder these to prevent issues with tip-ups. So I come up here, this S with the plus under it, this is edit start points. I go into edit start points mode. And as you can see, when I'm in that mode, when I drop down anywhere there's a cut path, it's showing me a start point and like for instance on this F right here is the actual start point I can move that anywhere I want click and now it's moved that start over here that's not really the purpose for this video but if you wanted to move your start points you don't like where they are maybe you know up here it would hide any pierce marks a little better than where it previously was you can move them around wherever you want uh, one time for me, the one that's handy is like this. This start point on the outer contour is on the edge of the plate. Maybe if I've nested a little too tight, that'll cause issues firing, taking off. So sometimes I'll move them up here to the inside to where I know it'll hit a solid piece of plate to fire. But the main purpose of this video is reordering them. So when I'm in edit start points mode, I can right click and it will give me this drop down menu. If I select quick cut sequence, it'll now pop up and you see it'll want to start on number one. Now I can come over to this F, click here. It's going to ask me if I'm sure because it thinks, you know, sheet cam knows better than I do. I'm going to say yes. Now that's changed that to start point number one. Now it's just going to go right up through the numbers sequentially. So I'm going to come to this A, click here, make that number two make this number three and I'm gonna work my way around all these big contours number four number five I got my O here I'll make that six seven since there's two halves of it uh, it's kind of covering up my U there but I'll just move it up here that's number eight um, this one here I'll make number nine and this one here number ten if I wanted to really keep going I could Maybe move around and make these two bigger pieces here, number 11 and number 12. I'm not really zooming in there to make sure I get it the same they had it, but just to give you a rough idea. Now, when I'm done and I'm satisfied, I would just right click and I tell it to end sequence and the rest of the cuts will stay the way sheet cam had them. But that's how you edit the sequence of your start points in sheet cam. So now I'm going to go back to my cursor. You know, now if we come in here, you can see it's going to cut this, 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 and it's going to go in that order. And that's what I've found is that's going to give me time. It cuts this F out and it moves out of the way over here to this A. Now I've got time to grab that. And then when the torch comes back through to cut these little shadow pieces, they're not big enough to cause a tip up and cause me any issues. So doing that has eliminated a lot of headaches for me as far as tip-ups, torch crash, whatever. Hopefully that helps some people out. Thanks for watching.